I knew you, it, you said you were going to do it. You were confident. Yeah. You've done a number running tonight. Tell us what's going on in there. The, you know, to be fair, I started off nice and fast. Felt I was getting the points in the bag nice and easy. I think Howard felt the fight was slipping away from him near the end. And uh, he started putting it on me. And fair play to him, you know. Uh, I didn't think he'd got anything left in the tank, but he caught me with some, some cracking shots. Uh, in, in the ninth and the 10th round and uh, just made me think a little bit, you know, but uh, at the end of the day, I went back and Paddy was speaking to me, saying, come on, son, don't let this go now. And to be fair, uh, I dug deep. I wanted it more than ever, you know, and I just sat in the corner, I said, I want this. There's no way I'm losing, mate. And he caught me some cracking shots, but I just thought, you know what, mate, I've already done all the hard work now. This is my fight. And, uh, yeah, the, the training took its toll then, Wayne. All them hard rounds that you've put in, you're saying to Paddy how hard they've trained you. Obviously, it's all, it's, it's all worked out in the end. I needed it tonight, to be fair, and I think uh, when I caught them big shots at the end, uh, I wouldn't have stood up to them if I hadn't have got the hard train. My legs wouldn't have stood up to that, but uh, to be fair, because of the hard work that the guys put me through, I was in excellent condition. And, uh, I managed to, at the end, uh, as I say, I run out a little bit of puff at the end, but I thought uh, if he hadn't caught me in the earlier rounds, I thought I would have got a probably stoppage in the 12th round if I'd just pushed it a little bit more. But, you know, to be fair, I was happy. I knew I'd won the fight, so... Uh, just eased off and uh, enjoyed it. You caught him with some beautiful right hands as well and a couple of good left hooks in there. Did you feel at any point you could have tried to stop him, however, were you happy with the, the no, points win in the end? He's been in with Bernard Hopkins, William Jopp. He's only ever been beat by Americans on the first British fighter to beat him. And uh, if Hopkins and uh, Joppy, um, uh, you know, and them, them guys can't stop him, then, you know, uh, I hurt him. And that's all that Hopkins and Joppy did. So, you know, I'm on a par with them guys. I've knocked out the last four lads I've boxed, so I know I've got the power. And I think tonight I, I earned Howard's respect as well. My punch. You know, basically it made him back away and uh, I was able to do what I wanted to do really and it was too late then at the end uh, when he tried to claw back into it. So what's your plans now then Wayne? Where are you going from here now? Obviously the British Commonwealth titles here now. Where are you going? Are you looking for Sylvester now, European title shot? Bring it on. Bring it on. I've just got in there with a world class fighter and I've done him so I've proved I'm above, you know, but above the domestic scene. None of the other middleweights got in with Eastman. I've got in there and I've, I've done the job and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll reap the rewards from it where I deserve for taking the fight. Well, your fans here are absolutely delighted, Wayne. We're delighted as well. We wish you all the best and, you know, thanks a lot. Pleasure to have you here again, mate. Thanks very much.